Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. If you've not been here before, my name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Um, I have a shop update video for you today. So for anyone who might be new to the channel, the channel is growing all the time and I am so grateful for that. Um, I run a small online yarn shop um, based in my home um, in South Wales in the UK. And every now and then I pop up a video on the channel chatting about what's going on with the shop. Um, so if that's not something that you're interested in, I completely understand. I know this isn't for everyone um, and this is why I try to keep these videos separate. So um, anyone who is interested can tune in. Um, but for anyone who's just here for the making content, um, that will be coming up in future videos. Um, so thank you so much for popping by today. Um, I hope you will come back for the next videos. But um, for anyone who is interested in the goings on here at Yarn and Yarns, I'm so grateful for your interest. Um, I've got lots of new Emma Ball products to chat to you about today. Um, some things have come back into stock and um, I've got some brand new products and I've also um, extended my Emma Ball range again. In the main, it's bags that I have, project bags that I have to chat to you about today. So um, that's going to be the bulk of the video, but I've got a couple of other bits to chat about before we get stuck into the Emma Ball stuff. In the last video, I chatted about the new publication from Lane, um, the 52 Weeks of Shaw book. The copies that I had for pre-order and the few that I'd saved to put by for the launch day have now sold out. Um, however, I do have a new order on the way. Um, so if you have been looking for that book and you've been over to the website, Website and seen that it's sold out. Um, I do have some more copies um, on order um, that should be here hopefully within the next week to 10 days. If you're interested in that book and you didn't manage to snag one um, on my last shop update but you'd like me to um, put one by for you and send you a notification when they're back in stock and please do feel free to drop me a line via email which is yarn and yarns at yahoo.com and I'll be happy to put one by for you to make sure that you get one for the next time that those books are back in. I did also try to reorder the 52 Weeks of Socks book. I've had those in stock a couple of times. Um, unfortunately, um, I got the communication back that those books are now sold out and there was no indication that Lane were planning to do another print run. Um, so it may be that I'm not able to get those at all in the future. Um, I was lucky um, last time I managed to snag a few copies um, but they've now all sold out again and I've taken that down from the website for the time being um, because as I say there's no indication that I'll be able to order that anytime soon or if ever. I also just wanted to mention for anyone who may have been keeping an eye on the Manos del Uruguay Socktails Sock Club um, that I have a couple of boxes for the May Club available over on the website now. Um, anyone who already um, pre-ordered that club, um, your orders should have been shipped. So hopefully you will have received those or should be receiving those any day now. Um, but I did manage to snag, um, as I did last month, a couple of extra copies of the box. Um, and for the May socks, it's um, the purple rain pattern and here is a copy of the pattern it's a lovely um sort of textured sock um and this beautiful skein of allegria um in this gorgeous tonal purple um just a beautiful um combination um, so yeah i've got a limited number of those over in the shop now um for you to purchase um if you wanted to just hop in for the may iteration of the club okay so now to get into the emma ball um stock and i've just had a huge box of emma ball arrive today so let me chat to you about a couple of non bag non-project bag um related bits and pieces first um so i just wanted to let you know that the um, knitting project books are now back in stock I ordered quite a few of these when I first ordered um, and they recently sold out. Um, they've been pretty popular ever since I had them in and they're a lovely little um, notebook. Um, if you've not seen these before, um, inside the front page is a little bit of a sort of reference guide to um, various bits and pieces. There's a knitting needle conversion chart, a little reminder of how to do the Kitchener stitch, um, some information about um, popular weights of yarn and also some instructions on how to do um, particular types of increasing and decreasing. And then the main bulk of the book is blank for your own note taking. And as you can see, every page has got um, a graft side, a squared side and a line side. So I'm um, perfect for 
um, you to keep your notes for your project or if you wanted to do a little bit of um, designing for yourself um, then the gridded pages particular in particular are perfect for that um, but of course you can use both sides for notes if you wanted to um, these are just a few pounds each um, there's about 50 odd pages i think in here um, in the back cover there's a little um, sort of fun um, knit stitch print um, which says color me in so a little bit of a doodling page in the back and the cover has the beautiful sheep in sweaters um, design these have been really popular since I bought them in a couple of months ago. Um, I know lots of people have been um, purchasing them and using them for, this, for themselves um, or for popping into little gift packages because um, they make quite a nice little gift for the knitter or crocheter in your life. If you have um, checked out the Emma Ball section on my website before, um, you'll know that I have several of Emma's um, enamel pins. To date, I've had some of the woolly puffins and also the sheeps in sweater pins. I decided to extend the range a little bit and I've added a few of the garden bird pins to the um, pin section um, over on the website. Um, there is a lovely blue tip pin. So these are all brand new over on the Yarn and Yarns website now. Um, there's a gorgeous little robin and also a barn owl. Um, so these come just on cardstock with um, sort of the Euro pins um, on the back there. So they are all um, new in stock and over on the website um, if you're interested in those. I'm obsessed with the birds in my garden at the moment. Um, we recently put up a couple of bird feeders um, and it's just so much fun um, spotting all of the different types of birds coming to um, get their breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I couldn't resist um, adding those enamel pins to the website. And now to the bags, and I've got quite a few to run through with you. So this is going to be the rest of the video. Pretty much all of the different types of Emma Ball bags have come back into stock. And um, I've got a couple of new types of bag um, over um, on the website now too. Um, so first off, um, back in stock are the Sheep in Sweaters zip bags and the Woolly Puffin zip bags too. Um, to the zip bag range, I have also added the penguins in pullovers, um, which is brand new. This is not something that I have had before. Um, all of these bags um, are lined with sort of complementary fabric. The puffins have the blue knit print. The sheep have the red knit print. And the penguins um, have this um, sort of really cool, almost like Nordic um, design kind of reminds me of a snowflake kind of pattern which I think um, sort of reflects the colours and the patterning on the front of the bag too. The penguins bag is new so that's over so that's new over on the website now um, and the puffins and the sheep are back in stock. I'm also really excited to say that the drawstring bags are back in stock and I know a few of these I know a few of you um, were interested in getting these bags, um, but I've had a difficult time um, getting hold of them. I think they've been out of stock um, with the supplier for quite some time. Um, so I have the sheep. I have the puffins, which were the two um, sort of designs that I had previously, um, but I've added to the drawstring collection too. Um, so I have got um, this really fun collection of um, sort of alpacas and sheep um, and this is called other woolies so you'll find this listed as other woolies on the website and um, so I've got some um, drawstring bags in that design I've also got the penguins in pullovers um, in the um, drawstring design too and then finally um, I all have also added um, the birds um, which I shouldn't have favorites but this might be my personal favorite <laughs> Um, this one's just got a stripy lining um, to uh, kind of like match the drawstring channel at the top of the bag. Those are all over in stock on the website now. Um, I have to confess, I did mess my order up. Um, entirely my fault. I, When I ordered the bags, I was so excited that they'd all come back into stock. Um, I thought I'd ordered plenty of drawstring bags and fewer um, zipper bags, because I've had the zip bags more often. But when my order arrived, um, I'd accidentally swapped it round. So um, I managed to get my a reasonable quantity of the birds bag ordered. Um, but for the rest of the designs, I've only got a handful in stock to start with. Um, but the good news is um, they seem to have a reasonable amount of stock with the suppliers at the moment. So um, if 
you've been waiting for the drawstring um, and if they do happen to sell out quite quickly um, then I am hopeful that I will get those back in stock again soon and again the same as with the um, 52 weeks of shawl book um, if you are interested in um, any of those things and they do sell out um, then please do feel free to drop me a line and I can um, put a reserve on a bag for you when the next order comes in. Um, that is not the end of the bags. I still have um, four more designs to share with you in the sheeps in sweater range. Um, so these are brand new products um, that um, Emma Ball have just released. With the exception of maybe one of these, they may have already had these and I just didn't um, stock them before. Um, but first off, I have these really fun um, wrist style bags. So um, they're kind of designed to be, I guess, on the go kind of bags. Um, and I've got a small version of that, which would be perfect for probably a one or two skein project. Um, and then I've got a larger um, size of that. So let me just hold the smaller one in front so you get an idea of the size difference that's the um small that is the um large and i think you could definitely get away with using this as a market bag there's plenty of room inside this one and a really nice added feature with both of these bags is they have this front pocket as well um so you can um keep um, maybe your notions or if you're using it out and about you know your purse and your phone and whatnot separate to the main compartment of the bag so i think that's a really nice feature of those um, so you'll find those in the sheeps in sweater bag section on the website um, that's the large wrist bag and the small wrist bag i've also got in stock a few of these um, and they call these the long bag um, so this is a more sort of traditional style of knitting bag and um, so perfect if you um, like to use straight needles on your product on your projects plenty of room in there to accommodate straight needles um, this bag um, has a fabulous zip pocket on the front although the, this pocket is not um, amazingly deep um, but you'd definitely get um, a few spare sets of needles in there maybe your pattern um, so that's quite a nice added feature but it's quite a shallow pocket um, if I show you here this is kind of the, the pocket size um, in shallowness so um, there's that and then inside the bag um, is that lovely um, red knit fabric design um, so this is a zip top bag too um, and it's in the same um, kind of cotton canvas as the drawstring bags the zips bags um, if you've already bought any of the Emma Ball bags um, then you'll know the sort of um, fabric um, that we're talking about um, for these it's a cotton canvas nice um, sort of sturdy fabric and finally <laughs> um, I have the um, large oil skin um, bag um, which has got a plethora of pockets um, so I think on the website this is just called the large pocket bag um, and let me just show you this one's a bit um, crumpled up because obviously it's been um, transported um, but this is a huge tote bag um, with loads of um, pockets around the edge um, for all of your storage needs really I could see folks using this for all sorts of crafting um, plenty of storage options for popping all of your bits and pieces there or just if you're like me honestly if you could see I'm in my living room at the moment um this is where I tend to sit I'm a bit of a floor dweller and around me are all of my crafting projects what I really need is to um grab myself one of these bags and start um shoving everything in here and keeping things in here a little bit more tidy um, not only do you get the um, pockets on the outside of this one, um, there's also a couple of, um, it's going to be a bit difficult to show you, there we go, um, a couple of internal pockets inside there too. Uh, and again, this is the red knit print. Um, so it's a zip top um, and this one is made from um, sort of like oil skin, so PVC, a slightly different fabric from the rest. Um, but it does mean that you'll be able to keep it nice and clean easily. You should be able to sort of wipe this down if um, sort of anything goes onto that fabric at all. In terms of prices, um, I think the large pocket bag is £25, somewhere around there. Um, the long bag, I think, is £18, if I remember rightly. Um, the drawstring bags are around about £12. The zip bags are £10. And I think these are in the sort of £10-ish range too. £10 to £12, I think. Um, but all of the information that you need is over on the website now um, if you're interested any, in any of those. 
So um, that's everything in terms of new products to share with you. Um, I did want to offer up a little thank you to um, anyone who has watched the videos and who does place an order. Um, so for the first 10 people that order 20 pounds or more of Emma Ball products, um, I will have a little extra gift to throw into the package for you, just as a little thank you from me to you. Um, I'm not um, offering that anywhere else, that's an um, exclusive for um, folks who are part of the Yarn and Yarns YouTube community. I think that's everything that I have today for you. Um, I am really thrilled to have um, been able to um, get the to get the bags restocked and to also extend the bag range too. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've spotted something in there that you might be tempted by. Great. Regardless of whether you're interested in placing an order, um, I am so, so grateful um, for your interest in this video. Um, by being here, by watching, by liking, and by liking the videos, by subscribing to the channel, um, you're helping me to keep the lights on here at Yarn and Yarns, extend the reach of the channel. And um, yeah, it just really means a lot to me that you're interested in the goings on here um, of my little small business. I'm going to say goodbye for today, um, but I will be back again soon with some more making content um, here on the channel. So I hope you will join me for the next video. But until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big bully hugs to you all. Bye for now.